Hello! Welcome to Venture Ventures. I'm Jake. I'll be the Dungeon Master for Episode 17, In Hell, El Terrell, just above Hell, uh, the first layer of Bator uh, Avernus. So we're going to get started, but let me do a quick and shitty recap of what happened last time because uh, my memory is not as good as I'd hoped it would be at this age, but here we go. Um, the group went to rescue older Raven Guard in the cemetery of the cathedral in El Terrell and uh, ran into a weird-looking guy, former priest of Lathander, who um, uh, no longer is working for Lathander and has started working for Zeriel, the lady in charge of this uh realm and uh his name is gideon and he had a very strong will to kill demons and uh they had a conversation told him that older went down into the crypts and gideon wasn't sure if uh older raven guard would actually be killing or helping the demons and wasn't sure if this the Bean Squad, this group would be doing the same, but uh, let them go, and uh, they went down into the crypts, fought some weird stuff, shadows and shades, and uh, made their way down there, followed some tracks, and came upon older uh, kneeling, frozen, stunned in a shallow pool right next to an open portal. Uh, and uh, one of them touched the crown, uh, the crown of Torm, uh, the helm of Torm's sight, specifically. Uh, and it gave them a Jerry vision. Jerry did that. Jerry did that. There we go. Right? I tried I to take remember. it off. I tried to take the crown off. And it didn't work, yeah. Um, and then right after that vision, a large imposing demon stepped out and uh, wanted to negotiate uh, with the group. Negotiations didn't go too well, uh, and they didn't last too long. Um, and a fight ensued. Rolikos did a lot of damage with one arrow. And uh, the demon didn't like that, so targeted Rolikos and knocked Rolikos unconscious and was about to finish the job before Jerry saved the day and killed the fiend, saving Rolikos momentarily, but hopefully for a long time. And that's where we left off. Rollercoast, you are stabilized. Um, Did you guys see that? I killed that. I killed that thing. That was me. That was me that time. Thank you. Oh, yeah, you did an awesome job. Uh, thank, thank you so much. Oh, you're not dead. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. I thought you were dead. Oh, I'm bleeding. Oh, I could. Here you go, buddy. And I tap your chest and give you seven points of my lay on hand. Oh, thank you so much. Wow. Generous. So generous. I want you to know that I'm being very generous. And then I'm what kind of one. noise does uh, Rollercoast make? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, uh, <laughs> then I'm going to cure wounds myself at level one for five plus. Cough, cough <coughs> up a hairball. One. So a bloody hairball. All right. We're looking good. Now I'm at 14 health. You're basically right. new. Right as rain. Yeah. You look great. Yeah. Jerry, great job. Good hit. All right. Now let's see about this. I, can I take this crown off? Like, how do we get this off? I is think it, you should just is, throw the whole guy over your shoulder. Is there okay. still a portal? Jerry just like yes. picks up the guy. He's like, Ugh. do we yeah, deal we with can't, that? Well, no, we can't close the oh, portal we can't close until, it. We, That's right. until we deal with the helm. Jerry, Jerry puts stone older on his, on his shoulder. Older oh, Raven Guard. On yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give me one second, and I start whacking at one of this uh, demon corpse's claw hands. 
in an effort to uh, retrieve a claw hand. Do you want to <laughs> just do it brute force, or are you trying to preserve it? I'm trying to preserve it somewhat, mo just to show Gideon. So just like proof of a slain demon. Okay, uh, make a survival check. So or... it doesn't necessarily have to be like pristine. Or okay, <laughs> well then just make a strength a strength check. How far is Gideon? Why don't we just go upstairs and go get him and show him? Uh, I figure I'd just bring it up. I just I'm, look. You got to kill it, okay? I just want to. <laughs> no, that was that was Dave. <laughs> <laughs> that was Jerry. That was Dave. That was Jerry doesn't think that far ahead. <laughs> Seven seventeen on my attack. Yeah, you're good. Uh, get it in a, a swift uh, smash, and you have a claw. Um, so you guys gonna head upstairs? Yeah, I figure we gotta deal with uh the dude. All right. Yep. What's her face? Faria. She's the one. Faria. Faria. Yeah. Faria. We gotta take him back to her. And uh, so you come out of the crypt. You don't run into any other things that wish you ill will. Uh, and you run into. What a day! What a mark this date in history. Gideon. And uh, he is flanked by a Mesoloth, which, feel free to look that up, but it is a, let me just make sure I'm thinking of the correct. Is it the crab thing? Oh, why did I, f I hate when D&D &D Beyond Does tells me like I fail thing. the investigation check. <laughs> it's insulting. Fail Looks it. like a, uh, like a humanoid beetle. Yes. It's like, a, it's like a beetle crab thing. Yep. Beetle. Yeah. Uh, doesn't have near the pincer that uh, your friend did. Um, and he goes, did you, I see you found older. Did you take care of any demons? Was he helping them? Uh, no, he oh. wasn't helping them, but we did take care of one. Does your buddy want an upgrade? This one's better. And I hold up the claw. And he squints at all of you. And uh, whoever wants to make a persuasion check. I'll do it's it. It's all on you, bud. I got, I got older right here on my shoulder. This is him. Stone version. Yeah, but he, he's checking the uh, whether older was helping the demons. How'd that go? Not good. I got a nat one for a four. <laughs> I don't believe you. Why should I believe you? You have Look older. I, Why should I let you leave with older? I'm, I'm, we killed a demon. You wanted us to kill demons. Uh, plus, you got a portal problem down there that uh, this guy came out of. Drep Fexul. I don't know if you know him. Yeah, he's a buddy of yours. No, he's not Damn. a buddy. Damn, not a buddy, but uh, you know what I mean. <laughs> but yeah, he uh, he was a dick, and we killed him. Claude, here, you can have it. I don't, there's to show you. I don't want it. And I just kind of like... Hand it and drop it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm uh, just gonna he, he doesn't take it. it they way. both Gideon and the Mezaloth kind of kind of uh, recoil in disgust. And uh, why he Older says to you guys, why shouldn't I just snap the neck of Older right now? Is there? Uh, he's made out of stone. That might be tough. Where are you? He's not stone. He's stunned. Oh, I, can't, I, thought you, he was, I literally <laughs> thought you said he was, like, turned to stone. That's an easy thing to get mixed up in uh, in a over-the-internet game, uh, <laughs> but... Uh, in a world where both can happen. I'm just happy that I was able to put together which part of my recap would, got confused, <laughs> because I was like, why would I say stone? But I didn't say stone. It's a whole thing in my head. Um, I didn't want to say anything in case Jerry was playing a massive deceptive ruse. <laughs> <laughs> you want to put it past him. Anyway. Jerry does think he is stone. <laughs> She's not oh, stone. No. Older <laughs> he's, he's incapacitated in some way. Uh, yeah, he was trying to close the portal. Didn't go really well. Uh, all right, well, let's just try to wake him up then. And Jerry puts him down on the ground and just kind of like, like flicks his nose. Weep. Nothing happens. Uh, make a deception check, Kairos. And if you want advantage from one of these guys saying, "Yeah, yeah, that's that's right." Yeah, yeah. Th there's a portal down there. I mean, he was clearly trying to close it. 
But yeah. I didn't know I was deceiving him, but great. I couldn't convince him, but I did not 20 my deception. Well, you roll. said he was trying to close it. Um, I guess that's more persuade. I'm, it could, no, it's you fine. Don't, you deception don't necessarily spread. know that he was trying to, but okay. Six. Yeah. Kairos believes it, but if it's a lie, I don't, it's fine. Um, Already yeah. rolled. He, <laughs> he believes Even it. Even I believe it, no. <laughs> and uh, he says, so it's still open, the portal? Right, we need the helm, but we can't take it off him to close the portal. It's a very confusing, convoluted thing. I'll let you pass. We have other... We'll keep an eye on the cemetery and kill any other disgusting demons as Jerry they come out. Throws him. He's like, all right. Jerry throws Alder back over his shoulder and he walks up to the Mezzaloth. He's like, hey, I don't know if anyone's introduced us, but my name's Jerry, man. I dig your shell. It's pretty... <clears throat> I like that uh, I like that texture. He, uh, in your head, you te- telepathically, you hear, uh, <clears throat> uh, well, uh, I thank you. Uh, I guess. What's your name? Uh, well, I don't know my true name, but they call me Clackers. All right. Hey guys, this is Clackers. He's he's a bit shy, but you know. Hey Clackers. Seems like a nice guy. What's up, Clackers? Or a nice person. In Abyssal, he says, "What's up." I don't speak that one. Damn it. Neither do I. <laughs> we all speak Infernal. None of oh. us understand Abyssal. <laughs> <laughs> That's unfortunate. Uh, it is. And uh, yeah, so you guys are free to go and head back into the cathedral, meet with Faria. Yes. That's right. Yep. And when you approach her, uh, uh, she is talking to a fellow in green clothing uh, with some tattoos of vines going on uh on their uh, forearm and down into their hands and feria says oh you found him thank goodness and uh says this is uh seltern o branch uh where were you and seltern says uh i was trying to stay alive by hiding and was successful. Can we can I roll a perception check? check? <laughs> An insight check? Or insight check, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure. Ooh, nice. Uh, let's see what I get for insight. 23. Damn, 13. 7. Jerry, you think he's he's on the up and up. All right. Way, way. You must be awesome at hide and seek, man. I like your tattoos. Well, I just played. How do I get one of those? You, you, do you know someone who does tattoos? Uh, yeah, my one of my cousins. You should get your cousin to to <laughs> to tattoo you some vines on your arm. I appreciate you. That's doing- actually a really good rule for life. If you want to ask something for someone, then just ask yourself. <laughs> Do I know someone who also does that? And then ask them. I'm going to write that down in my journal. Yeah. Who did uh, <laughs> who, who did yours though? Uh, it was it was a uh, witch in uh, the Chandrafar Chandrafar which, which? forest. Uh, you know her name was Selma. Jerry, is her cousin a witch? Is your uh, cousin not, named Selma? No, it's not my cousin's name. Oh. Well, I just mean like, is your cousin a witch? Because like, it sounds way cooler to get your your tattoo done by a witch. She's kind of like a witch in training in the uh, oh, well, that's orc, cool. the orc tribe. You could probably get a discount then. In, in training. And right, Feria right. says, so he's unconscious. Sorry to interrupt this. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we yes. tried to wake him up. I think the only thing that's going to wake him up is just time. And Lulu says, oh, yeah, and I got, I remembered some things, and uh, Jerry touched the, the <laughs> crown, the helm, and saw some things. And now, after, the, after we help out Older, uh, I saw this place where I went to uh, called Fort Knucklebone, and I talked to two Kenku. 
and she just pretty much goes on about exactly what she saw and she sees it in the she saw it in the distance when she flew up a little ways uh on your way back and uh yeah she's just continues to be lulu yep and uh feria says okay uh well that's Do you know go ahead that's uh fine but let's try to help older uh the only thing have you and you guys are um kind of um uh on the outskirts of the cathedral in the main hall and she says i think we're going to need to consecrate that uh the altar of torm and then we're going to need to take uh, some powerful symbol of courage and self-sacrifice to do a ritual that will break whatever's going on with the crown. Some demonic shenanigans is going on. And um, she starts thinking, what could be... Can you guys think of anything that would be a powerful symbol of courage and self-sacrifice? It's needed to empower the ritual. Could it be like the thing we put in the hand in the church Temp- well, what, what was out there yeah you're in the same large room um and i don't remember what you put in the hand it was a token of some sort okay it was a symbol a symbol of torm yeah a it? symbol of torm I, yeah i still have that it's the one that i lifted off of a uh, krieg and she says <clears throat> no it needs to be ah, i got it uh there's a great sword of uh, the unknown hero down in the crypts, and you guys went down there, and Jarvis made a history check and rem- vaguely remembered, he thinks, who that was and the story of it. Uh, and Faria says, uh, if you go retrieve that, we can begin the ritual. Uh, and well, uh, We were all up in the crypts, and we didn't find a great sword down there. You we? found you found the sword... Uh, down oh. there with oh yeah 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 okay it's okay. like a tomb uh was it with the chick and jarvis jarvis had a dispel uh or excuse me a um detect magic and he was very disappointed when it wasn't magical we didn't uh, take it with us though was it with it was with the female right yeah like the dead female yes in the crypt? Yeah. yeah well it wasn't magical so we didn't take it yeah it wasn't magical so mm. Uh, we could just go get it. It's like down the hall. Yeah, yeah, we could. Yeah, yeah, we should. <laughs> and uh, Faria says, while I perform the ritual, I'll need one of you to hold the great sword on the helm itself for about thirty seconds, and you cannot waver, no matter Jerry? what happens. Yeah, or Kairos. Man. Either of you are real strong. I am not. I feel like I feel like I should yeah. do that since I killed the fiend. Yeah. Um, do you Go think forward. if we took that token and went back upstairs to the hand, I could get healed? Guys? I mean, yeah, if you, I got right here. I mean, that just seems like the smartest idea right now. Yeah, I mean, hopefully uh, Torm, Torm shines on you. <clears throat> I mean, Torm's really, my homeboy. Really, we should take a break. I, this yeah. little light of Torm. <laughs> um... Torm, she, take the wheel. So you have the sword now. Do you want to take a short rest, or are you going to do it straight away? I think we should go upstairs, all heal at the hand, if possible. One of you, uh, I believe it was Kairos, has already healed there, right? Yeah, and I, and I don't need it anyway. Yeah, so I'll go up there and heal myself. Okay. Go do your pray. Uh, make a religion check. It's not the worst. Religion's plus zero, so twelve. Nothing happens when you pray and do a ritual. No. Um. Just like real life. Tor. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> that really sucks. You know, right before we went on and before I uh, got on the Zoom call with you guys, I was watching a YouTube video of this old 1896 
video that's been enhanced with color and been like smoothed out. And all I could think about while watching this eight minute video of just like people going about their lives in the city was just like every single living thing in this video is dead. <laughs> every, every, every single thing, the horses, the people, there was a rat scuttling around. Of course that's mm. dead. Some of the trees might still be there. Some of the trees, that's a good point. That's a good point. If there happened to be like a sea turtle? Sea turtles, maybe. In, no, that's, that's dead. A long, that's it's still, in the city. Yeah. It's still pushing it. That's a stretch. <laughs> a sea turtle in the city. <laughs> <laughs> Just walking down the street. You never know, man. It was 1896. You weren't there. <laughs> yeah, the 19th century. Uh, it was weird. Okay. <laughs> like, read history, okay? <laughs> um. Yeah, uh, where was I? Um, <laughs> so you um, you uh, have the sword, and you tried to heal, and uh, Feria steps up and says, 30 seconds, which one of you is going to be holding the, the symbol uh, against the helm? You Jerry, gotta... like, Jerry crouches forward, and he does one of those, like, knight, like, uh, bows. It kind of like stumbles a little bit. Okay. Uh, and I you... will be do, uh, doing that. Okay. She goes, okay, just I don't know what's going to happen. Just please make sure you hold it there. Otherwise it will fail. Uh, and then I'm pretty sure this will work, but I'm not sure. Let's get started. The other the other three of you, please keep an eye out and prevent any interruptions to the ritual. Looking at Rolikos, Kairos, and Jarvis. Oh, well, uh, we'll do that. All right. Lulu, you here too? Yep. She yep. Is. I will be right back. Okay. Dog stuff. All right. Shoot the, shoot the dog with a, yeah, not shoot the dog, but yeah. But do shoot the dog. To keep yeah. them alive. With insulin, yes. Um, <laughs> just had a terrible thought. What if he had like a, a, a trank gun that he shot the insulin and he just like turned around and it would have been across the room. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, gotta shoot the top. <laughs> it's so rough. Uh, oh, probably mess with Twitch terms of service and uh, not in a good way. Uh, all right. So the ritual starts and Jerry... You're holding it against the helm. I need everyone to roll initiative, please. Jarvis, me. Jerry? Eight. Okay. Kairos? Kairos and Jarvis both got 14s. Nice. Jarvis is first. And I'll wait on. You would still have mage armor up, right? From the fight earlier? Yeah. Eight. Yeah, okay. Yep. Um, I'm guessing Rollercoaster will go first. Uh, so I feel like we kind of have to wait on him. <laughs> if things are happening, then yes, probably. Yes. Yeah. Um, Jerry, uh, excuse me, Dave, that's your uh -huh. real name. Uh, we ran my one shot yesterday and someone died at the end. That's uh, true. Got their heads chopped off. It's pretty damn rough. That but, sucks to lose a character in a one shot, right? Like, that's the best time to lose a character. Yeah. Especially I mean, if it's right at the end of it. Yeah. Do people use that? Would like would that guy use that character again in a different campaign, or you just can't use him in that? Usually, people say reality. you can't use him in that DM's world. I think in the past it was more strict with different editions, where like you wouldn't use them again uh, in anything, uh, and that's why people who've played older editions since like the '70s have 
are very protective of their characters that they've kept alive for decades um, because they plan on if they die to never using to essentially retiring them. Uh, I mean that's that's my plan. There's I mean there's so many so yeah. many characters you can roll up. I would always rather just roll up a new character. I don't think I'd ever recycle one unless I was like press for time and just reuse the well, character it, sheet I for had. me for like for uh for the Kenku I was playing for Karate, mm-hmm. like getting that that uh rod of this the rod of law like collecting that you know something i collected that took a lot of effort i would i would want to keep that yeah and it's a legendary like in D D, it's a in the lore of D, it's a legendary item that's it's kind Coastless. of epic yeah roll initiative yeah roll initiative roller coast Nothing has happened. We're, we just needed you to roll initiative because you're probably first. Ten. Whatever it is. Whatever's going on here. Wait, did you say ten? Yeah. Wow. I guess we were wrong. We were wrong. Jarvis is first. Though. Jarvis is first. What's happening? What's happening? Jarvis is first. Uh, nothing's, nothing's happening, happening currently. Yet. Did you want to do anything? Uh, Jarvis will, <clears throat> Jarvis is going to stand. So we're in the big open, in the cathedral big open room, cathedral. Right? Yep. Okay. In the center. <clears throat> and we're all just kind of by the, the hand right now. Yeah. You can be by the hand. Uh, you were told to protect Jerry. Right. Quick refresher on the room. Uh, ingress points. There's pretty much just the stairs that went down and then the front entrance. Yeah, and the hole in the wall where you went out uh, in the, in the, hole in, the wall. in the northwestern side. The front entrance is in the eastern side. She said they just have to protect me for 30 seconds, right? Yep. So that's five that rounds. happened in 30 seconds. Uh, <laughs> Jarvis will move uh, 30 feet away from the group uh, from the from the group from the center okay. but not towards either of the ingress points like okay back towards safety so south away. yeah we'll say south, south. Perfect. uh and all right is that so it we'll be keeping an eye out for things <laughs> okay uh kairos anything you want to do uh, i'm going to stand right next to jerry all right uh facing the hole in the wall uh it's about this time the rituals just started. Uh, she's reciting a prayer, uh, and Jerry the the great swords. Not hundred percent sure, but you feel like it's starting to resonate, vibrate a little bit, and um, she's starting to shimmy. <laughs> she shimmies. Uh, I'm ready, my mate. It's That's very. Cool quiet you can still faintly hear the sounds of battle from below uh but it's very quiet and uh these out of thin air seemingly these two glowing balls of mist appear and they attack jerry uh with a shock and so that's going to be a 19 to hit jerry yes two 19 to hits all right remembered reading actions like 30 seconds too late (laughs) yeah i was trying to give you as much time to remember that but you did uh hindsight you did 17 lightning damage jerry yeah. And uh, that's the end of their turn. Rollercoaster, it's your turn. You see these two glowing orbs hovering around Jerry, and they just let out a shock. Am I close enough to be within uh, attack of opportunity range, do I think? Um, no, you're fine. Right. Okay, I just want to get 30 feet away from them. Okay. Draw my bow and take my three shots at them. Okay. 
is the first round of combat. And these are regular, not sharpshooter. Okay. So the first one is 16. Miss. Second one's 19. Hit. The third is 14. Miss. Dang. That's only one hit. For eight damage. Okay. It's the first opening round I think I've ever had. That was low. All right. Jerry, uh, I need you to uh, make a constitution save. Whew. Sorry. Uh, constitution, constitution. Uh, oh, nice. Uh, nine. You fail, and uh, as you're holding the great sword... Uh, the helm unleashes a magical spout of energy, a oh force <laughs> energy, and you take 11 force damage. Oh, Jerry is looking rough. Oh, boy. Uh, that's the end of round one. Uh, Jarvis. Uh, Jarvis is going to... So, like, was that my turn? Yep. Unless okay, you want so to stop. I don't, I, don't get to, I don't get to do anything else? You can uh, stop. Like, could I have said rage? At... You can. Sure, you can rage if you want. I'll, I'll allow that. Uh, but you can't... You're, you're, you can't essentially move. You're holding this great sword on top of the helm... So yeah, I'll allow you to rage if you want. Well, yeah, I wasn't I wasn't really sure right there if it was my turn. Um, it's your turn. Uh, I wasn't I wasn't actually sure I could. Yeah, you can I do that now. Rage if I'm not going to attack someone. As well, long as you're attacked. If you're attacked, yeah. Okay. Yeah, if you're attacked, the rage will stay. Okay. Let me let me back out this damage then. Well, the damage happened uh, before you raged. No, but there was damage before. You know what I mean? There was there was two different damages that happened to me. Oh, you're saying the force damage? Just I'm saying the, the whatever, damage. just the one that happened with the helmet. Okay, I thought you were yeah. saying like all the damage. Oh, yeah. Okay. No, all no, right. no, no. Cool. Yeah, that's yeah fine. I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm, Jerry's looking real rough, so this will hopefully. Yeah, so have I mean, that. I still might be done okay oh, i got you jarvis jarvis uh he is going to uh haste kairos okay it's an action because of course he does uh so that's an action <laughs> that's right that's right roller coaster <laughs> that's I right he did <laughs> well you ran you're too far away he can't haste you that's true um I don't think he has a bonus action, useful bonus action. Probably yeah. not. Nope, he does not. All right. Kairos. That is his action, and he will stay there. Um, Kairos will start swinging. Okay. Uh, that is a nat 20 on the first one. Nice. And not Fiends of Undead, so it's 2 4 10. Um, 10 points of damage on the first one. Oh, because I'm looking at Jarvis. That's why all the numbers are wrong. <laughs> it's hard running multiple characters. Right? 21 uh, to hit, and that second attack is 8 points of damage. What was the first one's damage? 10 points of damage. Okay, the first Will-O-Wisp is dead. Cool. So I hit the second one yep. with the 8 points of damage. Um, and I have... No, the, the... the 8 points went over to that first one. Uh so yep. I'm saying it's dead Got after it. the second one. Yeah. Got it. Uh, cool. And I have a third haste attack. Yep. On the second. I got what you're saying now. That's a 17 plus 7, 24. Yep. Uh, for 12 points of damage. Nice. Still up. Yes. Sad. And that is me being done. Rillicos. I <laughs> okay, so 
is the ball will o wisp on what side of Jerry? Like, where the is he side. in relation to so, me? Uh, Jerry would be um, has his back to you, and the will o wisp is still glowing. It's a glowing ball of mist, essentially, and it's just hovering right next to Jerry. Okay, so I want to try if hovering, I have to hovering. It's flitting around. It's hard to hit, but yeah. Yeah, well, I'm trying to not. I'm trying. I want to get close to Jerry, but not close to that thing. So if I have to go around him to like be on the other side of the Willowbus. Yeah, you can do that. Um, and I'm going to bonus action tell him to drink this, but don't stop. And then action shove a greater healing potion in his mouth. There you go. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> greater is uh, 44 plus 44 four. plus four. Yeah. 44 plus 4. 4. 1, 5, 7, plus 3 is 10, plus 4, 14 health. Clutch. And then I'll use my my cat speed. I forget what it's actually called, but I get double yeah. speed. Yeah. My feline agility and GTFO over there. Meow. Yep. All right. That's your turn, Jerry. It's your turn again. Um, you need to make another uh, constitution save. <laughs> Ten. Nope. Um, oh. And if there's anything you'd Roll like to do... a three and a four. There's anything you'd like to do that doesn't require you uh, to move your arms and move the sword away from where it's currently. Like if there's another rage type action where you're just kind of activating an innate ability within you, you can do that. I don't know if you have that. Um, let me look real quick. 10 force damage, not halved. Oh. Oh, for a second there, I, for a second there, I thought you said I wasn't I wasn't allowed to have it. Um, is my mic bad? No. I'm genuinely asking if I need. No, to. no, no. No, I mean no, like you were you like just said you not were just have and so not have. Didn't. Like oh, I thought okay. I was like oh, so I'm like not allowed to have that. Uh, point of order: Lulu didn't go last round. Oh yeah, Lulu. I'm uh, writing my notes. <laughs> fucking hey, Lulu. Uh, Luli. We'll go after Jerry. Um, the only thing I can think of is to try to, I mean, I could, I could do a spell. I have two spells. I could try to, uh, I mean, I would have to see an animal near me. I could speak <laughs> with animals. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't know hey. that's gonna give you a lot of combat utility there, Jer. <laughs> I love it though. Convince a convince a like a baboon cockroach to, to help me. <laughs> I'm getting real messed up over here. Cockroach just you just don't even hear words, you hear feelings. It's just like food, food, food. Um if that's your turn, Lulu's gonna go and she's gonna trumpet. Nice. Just don't. I don't want to be in the cone of trumpeting. She is. You're uh, fine. You're 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 going to be fine because uh, she has learned her lesson, and the will o wisp. Fuck. Hopefully, none of these other people down here are evil. <laughs> but we're about to find out real quick. The will o wisp rolled the net twenty on the con save. Damn that. We should have the will o wisp hold the sword. 16. <laughs> 8 damage. You have a speak with wisps. As the holophant trumpets out sparkles at this thing. Um, and it has disadvantage on the saving throw, so I'll check again. And it fails. So that does the trick. Uh, it takes the full 16. Ooh. And the will o wisp goes poof. And back to the top of the round. Jarvis, we're still in 
top of the round oh. three. So in initiative order. How many Willowists are there? None oh. now. Oh, okay. But we're staying in order in case something else pops up and you guys want to prep anything. He's going to hold an action this time. Uh, he's going to hold Acid Splash. For what condition? For more will for things to materialize out of the air and attack Jerry. <laughs> okay. So once they attack Jerry, your thing will go off. Jerry's gonna. I'm actually ready... gonna say for for just the materializing in the air is what's gonna what's gonna trigger the splash. Jerry's Jerry Hopefully wants to ready him. a. <clears throat> he wants to like balance a dagger on his foot. I don't so know. He, 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 can, he can kick knife somebody. Are you gonna get the dagger on your foot? Yeah. I have to hold it with two hands. Yes. Oh, okay. Never mind. Because there's a lot of energy coming through this thing. That's the it's abyssal forces. The abyssal forces are fighting back against Torm's uh, willful righteousness. Kairos, it's your turn. Starting to gyrate. I, uh, I'm also going to stand next to Jerry and hold uh, my mace up, ready in action to uh, thwack something that materializes. And again, hopefully, a good thing doesn't show up in thin what air. If it's, what if it's Hor, your god? He he'll understand. He's getting thwacked. He'll, he'll give you some retrib retribution, though. Probably. He'll thwack back. That's what he does. <laughs> um, give God's some name is some. Four? <laughs> You're just getting You're just out. noticing this? Yeah. It's been said like I've heard, 60 I've, times. <laughs> I think I've already made that comment before. <laughs> it's Maybe. been a while. Um, roller coaster well, definitely, turn. Yes, it is. Uh, like I just... Four d'oeuvres? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm just going to ready an attack if I see anything else dangerous materialize. Uh, okay. Kind of vague, but we'll... Anything we'll... that's not a godlike entity. Okay. Because what if Torm comes in? We're doing like this whole Torm thing. Yeah. Anything's possible in d, &D. If he does, he's going to get thwacked. Flashed <laughs> with acid. All right, Jerry. But I won't shoot him. Is there anything you'd like to do while you're holding this thing? You need to make another constitution save, though, as the abyssal forces hit you. I'm still just really pissed off and uh, just trying to hold Frustrated. on. Frustrated. Yeah, your, I can't think of anything to do. Make your constitution save. Ooh, come on. Come on. Please have a god show up. Nat one. Uh, oh, so, no. Yeah, sure. so that's a seven. I rolled a three, a four, and a one. Oof. Chair. Chair. Uh, if you waste that greater healing potion. Roller coaster, roll 3d6. Okay. One. Four. Oh, shit. And that one's on the floor. I'll just roll this other one because I don't know where that one went. And two. So, seven. You take seven force damage, not halved. Right. You still up? Yeah, yeah. With that 14, I'm doing a lot better. Okay. Uh, it's Lulu's turn. Lulu's going to ready in action. Not expect to use a rage. I'm just holding a sword, but. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing it. Uh, Jarvis, still holding? Yep. He, he generates his he's gonna whirl around his hand and, and now it's a the acid ball turns into a fire bolt. Okay. Cairo, same thing. Um same thing. Looking real suspicious. Relicos? Uh bonus action. Can I just say Torm give him strength and then hold an attack still ready? Yep, absolutely. Beautiful. Uh back to Jerry. Jerry, this is round four. Okay. Jerry, so we're another... going to need another constitution save. A little bit better. 11. That's what you needed, sir. Oh, thank God. I don't... I, I, rolled, I rolled a 3, 4, a 1, and a 5. <laughs> and I was not expecting <laughs> you Which to Which means the next one's going to be a 2. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Lordy, lordy. Lou is doing the same. Oh, uh, no. She's going to actually ready a tusk attack because she can't do sparkles anymore. Uh, Jarvis, back to you. You want to still hold the fire 
Bolt. Yep. Cairo, same. Yep. Rollercoast. Same. Okay. This is round five. Jerry, make your constitution save for round five. Ten again. Yep, that won't do it. Another four. <laughs> Brian, uh, roll three d six. You put that dice in dice trail. <laughs> I roll. I rolled some pretty good rolls before I started holding the sword. Eight. Total. Okay. Eight total. Three, three, two. Still awake. So I yeah, I'm taking four. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, I'm I'm good. Okay. Lulu's doing the same. Jarvis is doing the same. Kairos doing the same. Roller coaster. Kairos doing... is going to okay. actually uh, use one of my last remaining things I can do. Yep. I'm just gonna pop a quick uh, divine sense. Are there any fey fiends within? I think it's. 60. Jarvis's sheet again. I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's 60 feet. <laughs> Within 60 feet. Of... No, not currently. Awesome. All right. Good. Roller coast, same. Same. Jerry, your last and final con save. 30 seconds are almost up. 22. There yes. it is. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> so this last six seconds. The resonating sword against the helm starts to die down. The the frequency of it starts to die down, and it's the 30 seconds... Not shimmying as much. Not shimmying as much. The 30 seconds passes, and Feria takes a deep breath after reciting the prayer and says, Okay, the ritual's complete. You can uh, put the sword down if you like. And uh, she goes over to older and who's just propped up against the altar uh and she reaches down to grab the helm picks it up and her eyes go wide she pauses and then she puts it back down on the altar what did she, what did you see Torm just blessed me in person. What did he oh. do? you have super magical powers now? No, I think it was like just to thank. I don't know. Maybe. Can I you heal me? <laughs> I'm not a. I don't have that capability. You might now try. I don't even know how I would do this. <laughs> she reaches out and she puts her hand on your shoulder and she says, uh, quick prayer may the hand of torm bless you and heal you and keep you and nothing you don't feel any better you feel like you're, oh. you're you've you're doing your clerically your your priestly <laughs> duties you did it i am healed you're clerical clerical thank you <laughs> uh, that doesn't really work though cuz i always <laughs> <laughs> clerical work yeah um and uh she goes yeah sorry uh and older is still kind of out um but he's not uh struggling as much and sweating profusely a sense of relief came on his uh on his body yeah on his face it wasn't strained as as the helm came off and the ritual was completed and uh unless you don't is there anything you'd want to do immediately? Yeah. Uh, Short I want to lean, bend over, like lean down to Oldar and just, uh, just plink him right in the forehead. And when I do, <laughs> I'll use my last one point of uh, lay on hands. Okay. Yeah. There's a little flash when I do it to see if it wakes him up. Uh, he, uh, it, you think it went through, but he doesn't wake up. Uh, uh, figured it was worth a shot to see if he woke up. He seems we could, okay. We could give it like an hour to see if he comes to. I'd be fine with that. I suppose. I have some whittling I've been meaning to get to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you guys want to... Anything you want to do in the hour? Hit rest dice. Would, hit rest would be good. Short rest? Yeah. We haven't been awake that long, right? It's only been a couple hours since we've last. Yeah, it's been a few. Yeah, it's not long rest time yet. 
Um, shame. <laughs> shame. Shame. Yeah, Rolokos, uh, were you taking disadvantage on those shots for your exhaustion? Or is it only abilities for exhaustion? It's only ability checks okay. for exhaustion. Cool. Um, an hour passes, and older, as the hour goes on, starts kind of writhing, and hour gets closer, and he wakes up. Oh. Are you... Are you the people that saved me from that abyssal torment? Probably. I mean, yes, we saved you. I can't speak to the abyssal torment side of it. Is that what you were doing? (sighs) Yeah, I was... I put the helm on, and when I did, down there in the crypt, the portal linked to it or something and uh he starts telling you the exact same thing that you saw jerry when you touched it uh that's what he was experiencing over and over again and uh lulu uh recounts what she uh about the chucka and clucka i think that's the kenku's names uh, and Chucka and Clonk. Clonk, thank you. Yep. Got my one note working. And uh, you, you you told Jerry what what he saw, right? Like I saw I saw Lulu being a badass, basically helping Zerial, right? Yeah. Do you want me to go over it again? No, no. As long as everyone else remembers. Yeah. Okay. Does that, does, I can go over it again. It's no big yeah. deal. Okay. Yeah. I think it'd be good. Okay. All right. I feel so much better. Not like completely better, but a lot better. So during a short rest, you can choose to take max health once. Or you can use hit but... die once. Or wait, what, the, what? Either or. You can either use six. Uh, like on my sheet, it's either six hit die or full health. Like said, there's there's a thing that just says full health. Yeah, just hit die. So we're just we're just using hit die. Yeah, for short rest. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, um, I think it takes you to the same menu as a long rest. Mm. Why can't I find this stuff? Um. I forget exactly what the Kenku were doing, but I just remember you basically see Lulu helping Zeriel. Well, uh, not helping Zeriel. Um, Lulu was helping an Elturelian uh, Hell Rider with Zeriel's sword. And uh, as I'm just going to go off memory because I can't find it in the book uh, real quick. was helping uh, with the sword and a massive 30 foot demon uh, bull like demon was bearing down on them extremely quickly. And the El Torellian hell rider shoved the sword into the ground and a massive citadel sprung up around the sword, propelling the demon back and, uh, Lulu uh, flew up and saw a massive scar entombing the citadel, and she lost her mind, uh, and she she wandered and until some two Kenku found her, uh, and that the names that I keep screwing up of the Kenku uh, were the names she gave you. Chuck and Clock. And was there anything else? I think that was pretty they, good. They wore patchwork armor and they had a large Mad Max like machine. Yes, that's it. And they were working mm. on it. Um, uh, Foreshadowing. And Lulu also, I believe she told you that she used to be able to shape change into a golden mammoth. Uh, and she served as oh. Zeriel's war mount. Oh. I don't remember that. 
I don't remember that. Maybe I'm giving you information ahead of time, <laughs> yeah. but it's fine. <laughs> it's cool with me. Uh, but yeah, Ooh, she to do that. she uh, remembers doing that until Zariel went bad, uh, but she doesn't remember much else. Um, and uh, older Raven Guard says, um, well, I can't thank you enough for saving me and allowing me to continue to protect El Terrell. And um, I, I implore you to figure out what is pulling El Terrell down to hell and stop it and, and return El Terrell to its rightful place and prevent any more cities from getting pulled down into hell. Is that what you were planning to do? I hope there's great reward in in it. I can tell you from Baldur's Gate, we would be we would be very thankful if you were able to yeah. do that. I mean, I mean, yeah, we were kind of going to do that anyway, but you just that that just made it really heavy. Like we don't know you that well and you just came at us with that. It's tall order, man. Well, it's also But it's cool we were going to do it anyway. It's also it's so far good. easier to get into hell than it is to get out of it, so um, <laughs> it might be your only way out as well. Oh, yeah. um, I said it was part of the plan. And Farius, Farius says, maybe that sword will be your ticket out of here and maybe everyone get everyone back to their rightful places in the plains. Um, and Lulu... You, 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 re- memories keep returning at odd times. Is that correct? And Lulu says, yes, that's right. And, uh, Faria continues and says, I can't help you with your memory, but there's plenty of powerful creatures in hell that can probably assist you in that if you are a shrewd negotiator looking around at everyone. Um, but in order to do that, you will need to leave the city. And Lulu says, oh, yeah, we were going to leave anyway. We were going to go to Fort Knucklebone and find my friends. Oh, were we, Lulu? I, I was think just about so. To add, I was about to bring that up. Like, I didn't think what you saw in that vision was in Eldrell. And uh, we're in a floating city. How exactly are we supposed to leave it? Well, I can fly. And I could probably cool. take one of you down. But... Hey. Um, we can go look at those chains that are holding this thing, uh, pulling it down. When I glanced at them, they look pretty big. Uh, maybe we can take a look at them and see if we can climb down it. God, yeah, that sounds terrifying. Or, you know, uh, Jarvis, can you do anything, like, with magic? I, mean, I don't know why it's so terrifying, Rollercoaster. It's basically, it sounds like it's just a big ladder, right? Jarvis looking at his... Yeah, but it's so far down. It's 500 feet. That's not too bad. Just one arm after the other. Surely you've climbed ladders that high before. Yeah, 500 foot tall ladders every day. (laughs) Every day. That's my warm up before the workout. Lulu says, says, uh, no, no, I I can't. He doesn't even have it in his spell book. Fly. I don't have his spell book. The I dude doesn't have... even have identify. I doubt the, he has fly. The shared character sheet is it's not limited? like my character, so it's limited. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I can't see the full book. Let me let me check. Uh, Lulu says to you, Jerry, are you okay, Jerry? Jerry? Yeah, I'm feeling a little bit better after that little hour long rust. <sighs> if uh, if I can help out the situation by speaking to animals, let me know. But I will. Otherwise. Yeah. I mean, you kind of are right now. She's not quite an animal, but she's right. kind of an animal. She's a freebie. I don't have to <laughs> cast a spell to talk to Lulu. Wizards get it, but I don't know if he has it copied. Down. He doesn't have fly. Yeah. Bummer. Uh, what about slow fall? Does he have slow fall? Feather fall? Check. Or feather fall? It's not well. <sighs> Isn't slow fall in well? Yeah, uh, it's a, that was my priest. That's why I thought that. Ah, I thought only mages got slow fall. Priests get some. Oh, priests get levitate. 
or that might be the other way around. Feather fall, no feather fall, no feather fall. Damn. Jarvis says no. And Lulu goes, oh, that's a bummer. Well, I'm sure those chains are probably pretty big and you can climb down them. Uh, do we want to do that now or do we want to do it later? Uh, tomorrow? Tomorrow. Okay. Because <laughs> God knows what we're finding at the bottom of those chains. And uh, I, well, and that's I the blood tapped. war. Tapped. The blood <laughs> I'm not war. ready for a blood war. Uh, but I did want to ask Faria. Faria, do you know a Gideon? They're the priest of Lathander? Yeah. Yeah, you know that guy? He's an odd fellow. I don't know what happened to him, but he hasn't been in here in a while. Um, what did you find out? He's oh, right oh, outside. He's like right outside. Oh, yeah. Older, you met him. You you went past him. He said he let you through. Yeah, because I promised him I would be smiting demons to hell. Into, oh, to make into... that promise to Should you. we go see if that portal is closed now? Or... <laughs> Oh right, we said we were gonna do that. Something about it, we could, we should be able to close the portal once we have the helm. Either of you know how to close the portal? Uh, Feria looks at Older, and Older says, "Well, I'm gonna stay here and guard El Terrell, and I think I can close the portal uh, with Feria's help." And looking over at Feria, and Feria says, "Um." I'll need to do some studying to figure out what we need to do, but yeah, I, I can help. Um, you got this, Faria. Yeah. And uh, so Older is basically saying he can take care of it while you guys head off, if you like. Uh, uh, sure, just for walk me. out for Gideon, because he's, again, odd fellow. So weird. Thanks. He's still there. We didn't kill him. Okay. Good to know. Thank you. So be ready. Be ready for that. Con be mentally prepared for the conversation you have to have with this, you know, funky stare. Yeah, he's got a weird tense. Yeah, and he's uh, well, maybe he'll actually help, knowing that we're trying to close the portal to the abyss. Um, Hopefully. Uh, oh, and say hi to Clackers if you see him. Clack, who's Clackers? Uh, the the bug dude. Oh, with the claws. Oh, okay. And he's a little like <laughs> off put. Oh, by... you you didn't. You didn't mean... <laughs> no, never mind. You didn't introduce yourself to his friends? No, no, not to a <laughs> devil. I uh, was just trying to get out of there as quickly as possible to get down to the crypts. Dang, that thing was a devil too? Man, it's tough down here. <laughs> uh, yeah, so what do you guys want to do the rest of the day? Or I can fast forward to the next day and you get your long rest. I'm fine with fast forwarding. I have really nothing I can do. I'm mostly fine with fast forwarding, but I do want to just play a little ditty on the organ now that the cathedral has been cleared out. Okay. <laughs> and just walk up there and play. Like, oh my. Oh, okay. Okay. I walk up there with Kairos. Uh, it's a beautiful organ. Ivory keys, uh, extremely bright, practically glow. Um, go ahead and make a charisma performance check, whoever's playing. Not very good. Eight. I'm going to tap a few keys. Okay. Damn. Uh, the hell's... Damn it. <laughs> Three. <laughs> It's not. Uh, it's loud. It's n barely melodic. It's you're barely putting together a song. Um, it's like bad chopsticks. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's all I wanted to do. Okay, yeah. the only thing I needed to do on a long rest. Cool. Um, next day, go ahead and hit your long rest. So. Your exhaustion should clear. Yes. Hallelujah. By the way, can Praise someone, Tom. Can someone check the Twitch to make sure the sound is working and we're whatever? Sure, I'll do that. Cool, thank you. Thank you. 
Jarvis will keep all the same spells prepared. <laughs> Yeah, I think we're good on Twitch. Okay, cool. Uh, the next morning, you guys go out and look at the chains on the north uh, northwest side of, of the uh, grounds where the city is split in half. Looking down, you can see a uh, large uh, chain that's closest to you. And it's sorry for yawning. Uh, these enormous chains are made of dark, dark iron, and they're jagged. And they, the jagged posts are attaching El Terrell to the chains and to the ground uh, down below. Each chain link is 30 feet long and 20 feet wide. Uh, it's formed of a welded loop, uh, and it's five feet thick. And the chain links are covered in one foot long iron barbs. Yeah, this, this sounds perfect. Are the barbs sharp on the edges or just at the point? It's hard to tell from this vantage point, but it looks like if you didn't place your hand properly, it might cut it. All, All right. right. Yeah, no, this should be fine. <laughs> But it's definitely yeah. better than like you know it's you think it's better than smooth chains, uh, right? Gives you something to hold on to. So what do you guys want to do? What's the plan to get down? Yeah, I know what you guys feel. This looks like a piece of cake to me. Um, I'm ready to go. I think Lulu should take our wizard friend because he's probably not very strong or dexterous. Jarvis okay. agrees. Lulu says, yeah, I think I can do that. I can't remember if I've ever tried. I think I can. And he's probably the lightest because he's not wearing <laughs> any armor. So he should be also the easiest. Right. I don't know. Jarvis has been sneaking those cat snacks behind your guys' back. He didn't want me to tell you. He's eating my cat snacks? Yeah, I think he's put on some weight. I mean, technically, they're slobber chopses. They're cat snacks. Is Jarvis a cat? No. <laughs> Realistically, aren't they just like beef jerky? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they were pulled out of human Cute rations. Deadly. Yeah. Um. So you guys are gonna climb down. Yep. Yes. Are you gonna do it carefully? Or are you gonna do it fast? Uh, as you oh, can I'm see, I'm doing it carefully. The blood war rages down below. The post that this goes down to in the ground is on. It, the, the blood war is currently being taken place uh, near the river Styx as these massive boats are hauling demons. Seem the demons are the incursion is via the river Styx and the current battle is taking place below you. But the post that connects it to the earth is not in the thick of it. It's uh, maybe like a third of a mile away from it. Uh, so you won't be dropping down directly into it. But Lulu tells you that Fort Knucklebone is on the other side of the uh, river. Um, so you guys will, once you get down, we'll have to figure out how to cross. Cross. And if you don't remember, uh, when you got the map of Avernus, uh, you were told that the person who made the map was driven mad. Uh, in charting it and uh tr standard cartographic methods are useless um and distances are are very hard to gauge and uh right, right. okay so where were we landing maybe on this map okay. west or east side um let me pull it up real quick so yeah, do we have any landmarks that we can see? Like that volcano. Uh, so right in the center, you see like the disconnected like lake. Yep. Yeah. Uh, go north. Yep. On the right side, uh, kind of where there's a bend. It's right around here. You think is where El Terrell is hanging above. Okay. Uh, yeah. So. Gotcha. 
Do I see a volcano anywhere? Make a perception check. I could have those up. Fifteen. Yeah, you don't. There's so much smog, and uh, it's it's the opposite of a clear day uh, in hell, which uh, is a clear day in hell is not clear, as you can imagine. Uh, so no, you don't see a volcano. Um, you mainly see the war happening and uh, rocks and other flying fiends fighting each other and uh, yeah. All right. Sweet. Well, let's get climbing, boys, and I uh, start heading down. I'll take the lead. Yeah. On my way down, we're obviously a little high up, but I can get closer to like the 300 foot mark. I want to see if I can maybe see Fort Knucklebone off in the distance. Okay. Like a Something of the sort. Sounds good. Kairos, you're first going down. Who's second? I'll, I'll go, go second. second. You go second. Rollercoaster third? Yep. Okay. And Jarvis on Lulu. Do we want to rope attach to each other? Yeah, I was if just looking at my slips. equipment and I have some I have fifty feet of rope. I thought about it, but then I decided against it uh because of the, the spikes. It might uh that that could backfire, I feel like. I mean worst comes to happen is the rope gets cut, right? Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> and then and then like well, if you fall this. without the rope, you're dead. And if you fall with the rope and it cuts, you're dead. But now you don't have a rope. You're dead and you don't have a good rope. Yeah, but there's a there's a chance it could save our life. Yeah. Yeah, that's true, I suppose. Uh yeah. Uh, yeah. I also have rope. So I got some rope too. We'll <laughs> tie our ropes, each of our ropes to ourselves. No, and then good. connect the ropes. Oh right. <laughs> that's what we're doing. He's <laughs> just like wrapping it around himself. <laughs> well, but I'm ready to go. <laughs> got my like, rope. Ready it's to like climb. A, it's just like a dragging corset. behind him. <laughs> it's like a corset on him. <laughs> I'm going to weave a parachute out of this rope. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. All right. Um, so you can move down at a normal pace at 15 feet uh, per turn, essentially. And you hop on the chains. And as surely you... nothing's going to attack us while we're on these chains. Surely not. We'll find out. Uh, as you... Um, thought the hand the one foot little protrusion spikes are very helpful as handed footholds and you are gaining confidence in your ability to climb this thing down provided you're not rushing you think if you had to rush it would be a different story and you might be getting cuts in the best scenario uh on these one foot long uh protrusions and you get a greater look of the battle waging down below you. And um, you see spine devils, barb devils, dretches, uh, all fighting. Uh, you see some larger devils that you've never had a come into contact with. Uh, and about, th I don't know, what is it, three, about around three minutes, 15 feet uh, around. Uh, you make it down and nothing harried you. Nothing. Halfway down, did I perception check that citadel? Oh, yeah. Let's do the perception check there. But you're still going to make it down. Yeah. 17. Uh, where Lulu pointed, it's hard to make out... If you're looking in the right direction, you don't know what Fort Knucklebone looks like. Um, she kind of gave you a vague description, but again, things it's it's like the worst type of mirage, uh, the heat waves yeah. that kind of destroy. I was just hoping to maybe get like below some of the fog. Yeah, yeah. Or smog. It's everywhere. Um, okay. It's this place is a fetid wreck of disgusting detritus and and uh other d words it, if i'm continuing like alliteration what's that yeah it's, so like, it's you're like, in like we're in hell exactly uh so what we'll do right now 
Well, we're gonna do. Uh, you've you've got a um a journey a journey ahead of you, and uh, you're trying to get across the river, and about 300 feet, 400 feet ahead of you, you see this massive, absolutely massive, 12 foot tall, uh, wolf like looking thing that's got a purplish black hue absolutely ripped not wearing any clothes it's got four arms two massive outer arms with more than a foot long hands and fingers and two smaller arms uh similar to what you fought in uh in uh, the crypt but doesn't have pincers uh this thing is more uh uh, wolf-like than the, uh, the other one. Um, and it is just stumbling around and uh, make a perception check whoever wants to. Have you guys noticed that everything down here is forearms? I have forearms. Uh, so did what's-her-face. <laughs> known for him. Uh, 15 for Kairos. 13. 13 for Jarvis. No perception check, Jer? That's fine. Okay. Yeah, my perception sucks. Okay. Um, Kairos, he, pretty sure he's got a massive flask in one of those massive, massive hands. You think it's a flask. Uh, it's very dark. It's not a shiny silver flask. Um, but he keeps Guys. raising it to its mouth. Guys, I, th I think he's wasted. I think, I think we drunk. should avoid him. I think that's probably a good idea, and I think we have a chance because he's wasted. <laughs> Are you hilarious? Do you think we should be sneaky? I think we should be sneaky. I mean, I'm as the sneakiest one of the group. I think it's a great idea. It just hasn't been very successful, so I. We could try, I suppose. <clears throat> and if we uh, if we fail, we should try to get some of that booze because I'm dying to know what the hell booze tastes like. But only if we fail, I'm not going to try to do that. Let's uh, be very quiet. So you want to use stealth to get past yes. this yes. person? Okay, everyone make a stealth check, or one person can make a stealth check. It's up to you guys. If everyone. More fun that way. <laughs> what was that thought going through your head, Brian? Surprise. Okay. <laughs> we could have just let me roll or <laughs> exactly. give you the chance to fail. <laughs> well, Kairos It's got more two, fun. I got two 12s for a 12 on Kairos. So that's exciting. I got a Disadvantage, two. Disadvantage didn't do anything. Uh, but Jarvis. Is got a five thanks Jarvis. and lulu uh, got a two as well wow i got a mod 20 i should have just rolled. <laughs> that's gonna uh not be good in this modified skill challenge uh and uh that's a failure so okay, failure. yep yep uh you start sneaking past and this dragoloth kind of sees you and goes what are you doing i've never seen your kind down here before who's not being chained and and tortured i've never seen your kind drinking before are you having a good day no i'm not having a good day why oh, why do you drinking. care it's uh unique are you I gonna, suppose. are you gonna make fun of me too or try to no, no oh, it's gonna not join you in uh in jovial drinking if oh you want to drink sure he hands over the uh flask and says my name's zazrog and i'm having a bad day and i'm tired i'm tired of argrar giving me shit what, what did he say his name was who's argrar my superior in the demon army. Ozrog uh, is his name, I think. Zazrog, X O Z R O G. Thank you. And Argrar 
A-R-G-R-A-R. Hey, I smelled that one. Yeah. <laughs> yep, I got that one right, too. And... Oh, I feel you, man. It's been a rough couple of days for us. <laughs> As I, the flask is huge, right? Yeah, I'm just it's thinking like of what if, uh, it's like what Sam's. What if he had a log? Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. So it's not so big that I can't hold it and like take a swig of it? Correct, yeah. Okay. It would be a pocket flask for him, but yeah. Right. But It's, it's like, like a, a three-gallon flask. Yeah, it's like a three-gallon right. flask. Gotcha. Okay. That's thanks for the scale. Um, yeah, no, then I, I take, oh, that sucks. We've had a, a rough couple of days too. I tell you what, it's uh, never been, never, never been to hell before for first time visitor. Okay. Sorry, Argor, I was giving you shit. Wish I could do something about that. <clears throat> and I take a swig. What's it like? Okay. Um, <laughs> well, you've been sprayed with acid a couple times. <laughs> Um, yeah, and you think it's just acid or some makeup? Make a Constitution save for me. Oh. Fourteen. That's a fail. Sounds about right. Um, you ready, Raz? Ready for me to be passed out for two days again? <laughs> uh, you take fifteen poison damage. Oh, okay. damn! And you're poisoned. Okay. Oh, and you're poisoned. It's awesome. better than being knocked out for two days. You can drink, uh, you know, all kinds of things when you have immunity to poison. Yeah. I Not don't giant I, I'm only immune to disease, unfortunately. No, I'm talking about uh, monks. Zazrog. Monk. Oh. oh, Zazrog, yeah. Or monks. And monks. Or monks, yeah. <clears throat> but no, just disease for me. Oh, oh, oh that is. Bernie. <clears throat> yeah, Tastes I've... good. Good stuff. Thanks. Uh, uh, you've got some uh, yep. s- smoke coming out. Uh, yeah, does that not happen to you? No. <sighs> no, not at all. Anyways, um, where are you all heading? Uh, <laughs> that way. Well... You know, I should probably report you to. I should probably report you to Argar. Mm, but as we already covered, Argar is kind of a dick. He's yeah, such and a. We would appreciate dick. it if you didn't. I kind of squints at you. Make a persuasion check. Come now, we've shared a drink. Surely you could just. Are we both rolling persuasion, or who's roll. rolling? Uh, one of you get advantage, or both of you can roll. My attempt was to give you advantage. Okay. Nat 20 on the first roll. Wow. And, uh, Zazrog says, Yeah, sure, what do I care? I'm not, I'm not doing that stuff today, and, and f- fuck those guys. I don't even want to be here, but that's like what I was made to do. And uh, it's a tough life, tough life, friend. Uh, better days. Enjoy your drinking. If we come back this way, I'll bring you some more booze if I find any. Okay. Well, see you later. And uh, you make it past Zazrog, and the battle has shifted. Uh, to uh, not directly in front of you blocking your way now it's off to the to the from your perspective to the right a bit uh using directional uh terminology is really not going to work <laughs> too well in hell uh, are we all still tied together unless you've <laughs> nobody has said we've detached yet nope so we're done. I, that whole I uncatch myself <laughs> from everybody. Uh, whoa, Chris, we had take, a good thing going. Take my rope back. We might need this for something. <laughs> I don't want a chance losing it now that we're down here. Roll it back up and put it back in my pack. Okay. Uh, yeah, so the war has shifted, or the battle has shifted away, and you are close to the river. And what would you like to do? You need to cross the river, and it's it's rapidly moving river 
with um, seems like spirits or souls in it reaching out um, in the distance down the river you see a ferryman uh, pushing a boat like a Venetian whatever they're called uh, I always uh, forget how their name. wide are we looking here? gondola yeah gondola men uh, or women um, it's it's probably like a quarter mile wide uh, how would you like you can use a skill um, as your attempt. You cannot use stealth because you've already used it in the skill challenge. Uh, think, be creative, and uh, there's no like hippity hoppity rocks. Like it's just there are souls. some there are some hippity hoppity rocks. If you'd like to try and uh, do that, you can't tell if they're stable, um, yeah. or how stable they are. Um. Yeah. Jarvis is going to uh, recount historic tales that he's read of the River Styx and how other uh, others have crossed it okay. for inspiration on a good way to do it. Okay. Uh. So you want him to make a history check? Is that what you're Correct. looking for? Okay. <laughs> yes, I was. Have at it. We could totally 22. just go ask that boat dude to take us across. Uh, the boat dude, uh, as Dave is experienced with me, he's met one of those people in a different campaign. Uh, Dave, if you remember when Richard gave his soul to leave a city. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, uh, yeah, Jarvis says that you can pay the ferryman. Uh, you can... I wish I had fly, he says. I don't know why I took I didn't take fly. Um I should have taken fly. I regret it. And I'm sorry to each and every one of you. And he looks each of you in the eyes and says, I'm terribly sorry I did not take fly. <laughs> you know, one of these items we have might even be magical and give somebody the ability to fly, but we don't know that either. I'm and he goes to each one of you and he says, I'm terribly <laughs> sorry I did not take identify. <laughs> <laughs> he does have identify. He just doesn't have a pearl. He doesn't have a pearl. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I don't have a pearl. He says. Um, <laughs> Should have asked Freya for a pearl. <laughs> uh, Jarvis also says I do recall that taking a dip in the river Styx has memory wiping effects. Mm. And, and maybe Lulu, that's what happened to Lulu. Yeah, Lulu goes. What if it did happen to me? Oh, well, I don't want to swim. You can fly. Why would you be swimming? What if somebody dunked me? Baptized oh, me? Yeah, okay, that could happen. I don't know if baptized Well, we're not going to do that right to you. Word. Thank you. You guys are my friends. That's right. Um, friends till the end. I'm a big fan of my soul. <laughs> I like your soul too. It's a, it's, it's, um, it's a good and I'm soul. assuming that dude's going to want a contract because, you know, we're in hell. Oh, yeah, probably. Got to watch out for those contracts. I wouldn't sign. Do we still have the one soul coin? You do. Do you think he you would do? accept a soul coin? I, I think, think Jarvis, Jarvis does. does, yeah. Uh, I mean, that's a soul, right? That's it's a soul. I, I don't know if it's going to cost a soul for all of us to get across, but we could certainly try. Well, we might as well go uh, chat this guy up then. Does his boat look empty? You... Or is he currently ferrying someone? He's ferrying uh, something. You're not sure what it is uh, currently, but he's on his way to your side of the river and you mm. can hurry hey, up. Hey man, and... what, you, what, you, what are you ferrying there? Oh boy. And he goes, uh, it's a lesser demon of some sort. I don't know. I don't even, I think it's trying to escape the battle, but I took its payment. I want to show you guys. Um, and that payment would be what? What's the going rate for a lesser devil? One soul coin. All right. It's the going rate for. Four people. And elephant. 
and an elephant. It's one soul coin per trip. Oh, perfect. Right. Well, when you get a chance, we got we got we got a soul coin for a you. Trip we want to make. This is really I love this art. I am going to stop the game momentarily to put it in chat. Go art. I wish I knew how to work Zoom because I would share it, but I don't. Where are you sharing this? In the scheduling area of Discord. Not pinned reference Scheduler. material? Not pinned reference material? Yeah, I just didn't click over there. <laughs> it is very good art. That's, Such a seductive pose. That's the thing that took... Uh, What's his face is uh soul there, Dave? Nihilus. Yeah, Nihilus. There we go. He's got such long legs. He works out too. You can tell. <laughs> Very lean. Doesn't doesn't skip leg day this one. Probably he's, does CrossFit. Yeah, he's a runner for sure. Is uh Kairos making these observations at all or no? <laughs> In his head. Okay. Um. Yeah. So he invites you on. And uh, yeah, you guys pass, and that's a success. Another one. Jarvis, oh. by the way, because I know Gary would be, is a little upset that he has to use his soul coins. Yeah. <laughs> and that he has to give it up. That's what yeah. you get for not being here. You lose your soul coin. <laughs> you lose your soul coin. But <laughs> I agree. Hey, we could have we could have just let him keep the coin. <laughs> And offered his soul. soul. <laughs> that is worse. <laughs> <laughs> that is worse. Don't so, show up, lose your soul. It's a rough day. <laughs> if he complains, you know what to say. Uh, all right. So uh, as you guys cross and you disembark, uh, Lulu's like, oh, well, that was a big obstacle we passed. Oh, yeah. no, it looks like the battle's swinging back this direction. We should go. Run, everybody, now. Yeah. And I'll, lead, I'll lead the group in a forced run uh, with my athletics. Okay, use your athletics. Force march, everybody go. <laughs> shouting at them, drill drill sergeant shouting at them. Where we go, faster. where are we going? Up, 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 up. Awesome, 25. Yeah, it was a higher DC, too. Uh, that's a success. Um, you push them. them. Lulu is even complaining a little bit. Uh She's like, my wings and legs hurt. This is hard. And uh, Jerry's probably fine. Uh, Jarvis is probably the only one who's really struggling. To... I've got a decent athletics. Yeah, so. I figured. Uh, Jarvis doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so uh, you need... You've made it away from the river and seemingly away from the uh battle uh lulu kind of looks around and she goes up into the sky and she's like, i think it's this way can you guys help me f keep our bearings here do you have any and she's you guys need to figure out how you're going to keep your bearings what you're going to use it can be a spell it can be a skill it can be something creative that I haven't thought about. Uh, that's why I like skill challenges, because I don't have to think of how you're going to do it. Let's see. What do I got? Do I see any small or large uh, animals nearby? <laughs> uh, to point out to Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, like a bird. A bird has a really good sense of direction. There's not many birds, around, especially around the battle. <laughs> a, beast, a lot that's of these. Not a deep. <laughs> Make a perception check, Jerry. Jerry. Okay. Ooh. Um, Seventeen. Okay. Yeah, you see like a bug with a massive horn on its head. Um, I cast speak with animals. Okay. What do you say? Hey. Hey, what's up, horny bug? Um. Do you know which, which, uh, can you, you want to hang out with us for a while? We'll feed you. And we just need to know, we just need to keep going in the same direction. Do you have pit fiend shit? Mm. 
I'm a do dung we? beetle. <laughs> hey guys, do we have any uh I'm an infernal pit shit? Dung beetle. He's uh, an not, infernal dung beetle. Not on us, but we We can get you some. We'll get you some. some. You can get me some. Where are you gonna get that's there? It's I, well, I we get it. We get attacked by demons and devils all the time, so we'll we'll get some of their shit for you. Why are you talking to me? Because we we need you. We don't we don't have really a good sense of direction in this in this plane. Ask him if he we, wants to become a part of the Bean Squad. Do you want to become a part of the Bean Squad? I mean, that's a we're stink. called the Bean Squad because we smeared beans on some guy's face. I'm not into beans. Damn, I'm into shit. We'll rename ourselves the Shit Squad for you if you want. You know, Jared, does does he know where Fort Knucklebones is? Do you know where Fort Knucklebones is? Maybe. Make make a. Uh, what skill do you want to use on this guy? Like charisma. To just skill. ask him. Yeah. Uh, uh, Persuasion. Uh. uh... <laughs> Give me a reason to allow you to use a skill you're better at. A plausible reason. Um, I can try to use intimidation on him. Okay. If you want to. How does that what does that sound like? Listen here, you little horny bug. I'm gonna I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna smash you. I'm gonna get my sharpshooter here to shoot you out of the sky if you don't tell us where that fort is. Make an intimidation check. Course, Jerry just went to like 180 on that bug. <laughs> 20. He said something about his mother. Nice. Wow. Yeah, the bug goes, oh, God, everything's so mean to... here. I, did... <laughs> I hear about these other planes and they're so... It's hell. They say they're nice and they. I just want to go about my day and roll shit around and make a house. <laughs> uh, and the bug says, yeah, Put me on your shoulder and I'll make sure you don't get lost. <laughs> Jerry just goes, he reaches out his hand. And he puts him, puts him on his shoulder. Smells so bad. And oh, friends, this is a weird friend. Oh, you smell <laughs> so good. Oh, that's not. You're damn not right I smell good. That's lemur shit you're smelling. <laughs> you want, you, you want some? Lemur. <laughs> Are you, are you saying you want to lick me with that? What are you doing? Maybe later. All mm, right. Sounds sounds tempting. And that's uh, the third success you needed. And uh, he leads you on uh, to the – in the direction of Fort Knucklebone. You're pretty sure he's telling you the truth and he's leading you in the right direction. Lulu goes up. She doesn't go up that high because there are still creatures flying around uh, that she doesn't want to attract. She is a golden effing holophant uh, in hell. Um, and on your way, you start seeing this rise uh, in the distance. Uh, but before that, uh, in the foreground, you see this large Mad Max style machine probably the size of a school bus with massive spiked wheels on it. Yes. Uh, and uh, it's just sitting there. I mean, our future, <laughs> our future vehicle. Maybe. <laughs> it's sitting there. And as you're approaching it, if you're approaching it, are you approaching it? Heck, uh, Lulu, does that look like the same machine your Kenku friends had? Yeah, I mean, th those machines all look... If my memory serves me, they all look weird like that. Evil. It looks There's evil. More. Oh, I thought it was a one a one machine kind of gig. I didn't know there was a bunch of these rolling around. Oh, yeah. They have... I think they have, like, races and stuff. And Oh. Oh. That's how they get around. There's, like, gangs. No. Uh, so you guys approach? Much more cautiously now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what does that entail? This is weapons drawn. Uh, roller coaster. Do you want to do you do you want to scope it out? Take, take How far away is it? Mm, about two hundred feet. I'll go a hundred feet up. 
Whoa. see if I can. Are you gonna see stealth? Anything? Yeah, yeah, I am. And I'm scared as shit because I'm by myself. So I'm gonna even <laughs> myself pass without a trace. Do you think? Do you think uh, Rollercoaster ever thinks about like how good he is with a bow? That there's others that good, and he could get. No. He doesn't think that way. Okay. No. no he's the uh, best. No. Yeah, he's the best. All right. Nobody <laughs> outshoots Rollercoaster. Just then, an arrow pierces your nose. <laughs> dude, that's such a good roll. It's a natural 19. Plus 10. Plus, plus 6. Modifier. 35. So 35. <laughs> You're pretty fucking sure they're not... Nothing's seen you. Um, yeah. You're even invisible to beings on the ethereal plane. Uh, <laughs> as you're approaching, you see these two characters' pictures in the same spot I put the other picture. You see the one with the helmet uh, kind of jumping around, hopping around the machine with a wrench, uh, just tooling on the on the infernal oh. machine. Oh, they're Kenku. All right, then I will sneak my way back to the group. Okay. And I want to even try to sneak past them a couple feet, get behind them, and scare Kairos. You, uh, well, I'm you're like three times what Kairos' passive perception is. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think literally. Yeah, my passive perception is 10. You're three and a half. <laughs> yeah, you can do whatever you want to Kairos, at least, at least for six seconds. Yeah, yeah, I want to get by him, get behind him, and be like, "Hey, bud," and I'm, Garus is crouching, like looking ahead where you where you <laughs> slunk off. Yeah. Oh shit! And he just like backhands you right across the face. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Ka- oh, sorry. Uh, did you? Yeah, it's. You know uh, you're supposed to go that way, right? Yeah, I already did that. Oh. Those cool. empty can just commandeer. There's, it. Take a there's moment to no, collect no. Myself. I've always wanted to say the word commandeer. I've got good news. There are two Kenku up there. Oh, cool. Uh, Chuck and Clonk, did you ask him who they were? No, I wasn't doing that without you guys. Smart. It's good. <sighs> Still catching my breath. <laughs> it's a good idea. It's a good idea. Jerry starts walking over to the. Lulu, machine. do you know how many Kenku are down here? Like, is it a bunch, or was it rare to see a Kenku? I don't remember. I just remember the two. Okay. Did one have a spiky, funny-looking helmet? Yeah. It's probably them. Jerry walks over uh, to I don't the vehicle. Know does, I guess. <laughs> you just going without them? Yeah, I mean, right. unless... I, I follow once I see him walking away. Okay. Uh, as you approach, um, one of the Kenku, Chukka, uh, the one without the helmet um, goes, Who are you? I'm Jerry. Stop! And it's all in different voices. It's it's just phrases in <laughs> yeah. different voices. <laughs> Jerry. <laughs> I really like your machine. Our machine. <laughs> Lulu, no, Lulu. Lulu, get up here. <laughs> Does Lulu come forward? <laughs> I can't keep. I don't know how. I'm gonna go crazy keeping this up. Uh, Lu- I can't Lulu, wait to watch. Lulu comes forward and goes, "Oh, Chucka? Lulu. <laughs> and they go, "Lulu," and it's like echoey. And uh, Lulu, and uh, they come up to Lulu and they start. Patting with their bird hands, which are semi wingish, but just it's disconcerting. In my mind, it's disconcerting. <laughs> yeah, but it's got a hand on the end. Yeah. Um, it's like Big Bird's hand. Yeah, it's very disconcerting. I, I didn't watch Sesame Street <laughs> simply because of that. Can and we can monster. we take a tour of your of your machine? Our machine. Yeah, yes. your machine. Yes. Yes. We like, climb up the little ladder or whatever goes to their machine. Yeah. So it's just like a Mad Max machine. Um, 
this particular machine, uh, it, all of the parts where you would, what you would call a, a compartment for individuals is exposed. It's on top. And uh, you see in the center is a, uh, a steering wheel made of horns and uh from of all different kinds uh you think unless you want to make some sort of uh survival check to figure it out and right next to it uh you see a slot uh with a large uh hand pointing down like this like it's a literal uh hand of some creature you don't know what it is pointing down into the slot uh and the slot around it is glowing and the kenku say Soul coin? Fresh out. Uh, you have soul coin? Fresh out, bud. None left. <laughs> it's powered by soul coins? Man. Souls. Souls. <laughs> soul coin? Yeah, we, we, we get it. Yeah. We don't, we don't have any soul coins. Lulu, you made some interesting friends down here. How hey, do you what you more, want? What you want? How do you guys get your soul coins? And trade. <laughs> <laughs> Perfectly normal. And Who trade. do you trade with? Uh, trade. Fort Knuckle Bones. Ah, uh, yeah, that's where that's we're where, headed. Yep, that's where we need to go. Trade. How far? How far is is Fort Knuckle Bones far? Like 15 <laughs> hours. Oh, that's all? 15 hours? Damn. And, uh, uh, fucking, cl I always forget the second bird's name. Clonk. 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 Why is that? Clonk goes, no. 15 minutes. Oh, my God. <laughs> so with much machine. Better. With machine. Oh. 15 minutes. All right. Do we? Do you have any? Uh, do you have any fiend shit? And they look at you. Hit fiend in, shit. In your voice, they go, "Fiend shit." Yeah, we got we got this guy who's gonna show us how to get to Fort Knucklebone, but we have to feed him fiend shit. I don't think we have to anymore. You kind of scared the shit out of him. Why? Do you guys know how to get to Fort Knucklebone? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. We you don't need your services anymore. Ping. Hey, you son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> you shit stealing, and that's all you hear. Uh, and you the 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 uh, Kenku Chuck and Clonk seem to be digging your vibes. They definitely dig Lulu's vibes. Um. And uh, is Jerry? Does Jerry laughing when they do the the mimicry? <laughs> no, I'm just laughing at you. Dave's laughing at you. Yeah, I know. I just trying wanted... to be a kenku. <laughs> I'm just remembering what it was like for me to try to do a kenku. You tried for like the first hour of the first episode, <laughs> yeah, I think. There's no way I could keep yeah, that up. Tough. Yeah. Um. Uh. Yeah, and uh, that's where we're gonna leave it to pick up next week, hopefully with Gary back as Jarvis. Um, yeah, and you guys will hopefully make it to Fort Knucklebone. You got, you're actually on the ground floor hell. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're fully in hell. And now. none of us have died yet. You came close. Yeah. And it would, if you would have failed this uh, skill challenge, it would have been interesting. Uh, but you didn't. We'll be back next week, same time, same place which is 7 p.m. Pacific time, twitch.tv slash Venture Ventures. If you're listening to this and you want to see our faces and you want to see my stupid face make mimicry noises and try to remember exactly which phrase went with which voice, <laughs> uh, which is already just already so, just already so you know, this, next week, yeah. I'm not going to try to I'm going to try to continue the same, but it's not going to be successful and I'm not going to feel bad about it. I'm just going to come up with new mimicry. For, for the phrases no jake i expect you to re-watch this episode so <sighs> many times that you memorize which phrase and which voice. yeah right that would <laughs> yeah right if i were a better person i would do that um 
Yeah. Mm, I don't know that you would, because if you're a better person, that would automatically disqualify you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, uh, anything anyone wants to plug? I will oh, plug. Uh, I will plug Saturdays at 9 a.m. Pacific time, which is noon Eastern on twitch.tv slash roll for change. I play in a Star Wars Fate accelerated game as a gunslinger smuggler named Turk Bango, who just set the record for falling down a ventilation shaft on Cloud City. Uh, because this is set before episode uh, five, so Luke hasn't beaten it yet, uh, was, <laughs> is in a lot of trouble. Uh, no one ever dies from falling in Star Wars. Well, thank God I took a Jedi with me <laughs> who was trying to hide his powers and I implored him to use his force powers to stop our fall, which isn't a tough sell. I feel like, and it wasn't, shouldn't be. It, and it wasn't a tough sell. And, <laughs> Save us both or let yourself die. <laughs> and we fell about uh, 300 levels and landed on a platform. And then some Sith or inquisitors of some kind, empire inquisitors showed up and force choked the hell out of me. So I'm currently being choked. You can you can find out <laughs> what happens on in Saturday if I just keep getting choked. Maybe I'll just be choked for three hours. I don't know. But uh, like, like a good time. <laughs> Thank you. You're gonna love hell. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. If not, come back Monday and uh, we'll we'll pick this up with Chucka and Clonk. Be excellent to each other. Be excellent to yourselves. And we'll see you. Have a great week.